By virtue of their long-standing relationship with yacht design guru Stefano Rigini, Bonetti were able to develop the form of a yacht around an intense volumetric study of the spaces available in a vessel that is 36.5 metres long and with a beam of 8.6 metres. First of all, it was decided that in an ideal yacht, all of the service area should be concentrated on one deck, the lower deck where the crew should be located, with a sizeable captain's cabin, and also the galley, the crew mess, a cold room, and a laundry. This was really well thought out, not only because it left the prime real estate of the yacht, that is to say the main deck for the owner and his guests, but also because it kept the crew conveniently close to the engine room and the owner and guests conveniently far from it. The lower deck area even includes a well-proportioned gymnasium, although if an owner prefers, this space can be used as an extra stateroom, and in fact, the area is accessible from the guest staircase. Moving to the main deck, there is a palatial master suite that includes a private lounge area and an ensuite bathroom so well appointed, I just don't think that such a thing exists on any other yacht in this category. The Bonetti Beyond, however, managed to have not only the owner's suite, but also all of the guest accommodation on this level, so that each one of the guests can enjoy sensational sea views through huge windows running along the side of the yacht, and without so much as the noise of waves slapping against the side of the hull, as can occur in cabins closer to sea level. The two largest guest staterooms may also be configured with an opening terrace onto the sea. Beyond offers this marvellously open and airy solution for the upper deck, where there is an abundance of space for sitting, and relaxing with a proper area for dining at the bow, opening up onto a vast relaxation area on the foredeck. Moving on to the bridge deck, we find an extremely well thought out helm station with a dedicated space for the officer of the watch. I just can't stress how important this is, especially on yachts that are designed for long range cruising. And I should really mention here that the aft deck can be partially enclosed to create a chic veranda too. Finally, of course, there is the sun deck, a wonderful area for dining and sunbathing. But before we start to look at the various deck levels, let's consider the question of how one passes through all these decks. And it's important to note that here too, Bonetti have made a detailed volumetric study to ensure that crew and guests can move easily through separate dedicated stairways. And there is also a dumb waiter that goes all the way from the galley to the sun deck. Owners and guests will usually arrive to the yacht via the aft stairs and to the aft deck, where they can take a few steps up to the upper deck. This is a wonderfully uncluttered area and leads on all the way through the lounge area to a spacious dining area. Actually, when guests arrive at this part of the yacht, they can see all the way through the lounge right to the bow. As far as deck space is concerned, Guests are spoiled for choice on the Bonetti Beyond, since there are an additional two outside deck spaces with a large spa tub, an American bar, and plenty of choices for sunbathing and dining options. Going back to the aft deck, whilst guests will walk up a few steps to the upper deck, crew who may have accompanied them will take a few steps down so that they can immediately access the crew quarters. Before they get there, they walk through this vast tender storage area that is absolutely without compare on any other yacht of this size. 
it's hard to find another 37 meter yacht that has space for an enclosed six and a half meter tender. The Bonetti Beyond has space for that, plus a 4.2 meter tender for the crew and two jet skis, as well as another area on board for smaller water toys. Many great explorer yachts will have a dedicated exposed boat deck while Bonetti have created for the first time in an Explorer yacht a huge semi-enclosed garage with opening sides for easy launch and retrieval of all of the tenders, whilst keeping them concealed to retain an elegant profile for the vessel itself. By creating the semi-enclosed garage on the main deck, Bonetti have also freed up the transom for a wonderful sea-level beach club with great spaces and especially an unusually high head height. Once again, due to the extra deck that they have carved out for this model. This area can be equipped with a steam room and shower cubicle and space for storing scuba diving equipment. Finally though, what about that requirement for the ability to cruise for long distances without having to stop to refuel? Well, apart from having a fuel tank adequate for a 5,000 nautical mile range at cruising speed, Renetti approached one industrial giant, Siemens, so that the Bonetti Beyond would have one well-proven integrated hybrid system. The yacht has four power sources on board. The main engines, the generators, electric motors that are connected to the engines, and a battery bank. At low speed, an owner may prefer to turn the main engines off and let the generators power the electric motors so that they run the propulsion whilst the batteries handle other electric loads. This is ideal at night, for example, if you want to relocate the yacht whilst guests are asleep, since it reduces the noise and vibration on board. If you're in an area of the world where you need to have zero emissions in order to cruise, or if you want to enter or exit a marina in silence, you can rely upon the batteries to power the electric motors and also the other electrical requirements for brief periods. Then, when an owner wishes to cruise for extended periods in the most economic way possible, the electric motors can be run by the main engines to power the propulsion and the hotel loads, whilst the battery bank manages any variations and peaks in requirements. It is estimated that this actually represents a 10% reduction in fuel consumption when compared to using the main engines for propulsion and the generators for the electrical load. Clearly, the generators are not used at all in this mode. And finally, if crew are transferring the yacht from one place to another and speed is not of the essence, the Bonetti Beyond can run at low speed with just one main engine powering the electric motors for propulsion, whilst one generator and the battery bank handles the other loads. This, of course, reduces the overall consumption up to 15%, but also saves the operating hours of the engine and the generators. <laughs>